שוחט כפס יחט מגיד רחצה מאיצים עצה מרור כורך שולחן is by taking three matzot, put them one on top of the other. So we're going to start with the bottom one, which is the Yisrael. And then in the middle is the Levi. And then at the top is going to be the Kohen. First thing is the Zura. Do we know here what the Zura represents? What does it represent? Oh, that Pesach. The Passover. Carbon Pesach, the sacrifice that the Jewish people would bring um, every single year to the Seder. Uh, to, and they would eat it, they would bring it to the base of Mikdash, and they would eat it by the Seder. Since we don't have a base of Mikdash, it as commemoration. Then comes the, the egg, the Beza. Does anyone remember what this represents? It's the carbon of the holidays. Very good, the carbon of the holidays. Every single holiday, they will bring a carbon to the Beit HaMikdash. Then comes the Maror. Everyone knows what this is. This makes us cry. What does it represent? The Beit HaMikdash. The Jews and the Jews. It's his and the Jews. They were enslaved in Egypt. Then comes the Charoset. What does the Charoset represent? The bricks. The bricks that the Jewish people had to create. Some people have the custom to use potato. Some people have the custom to use parsley. And some people have the custom to use raw onions, actually. We're just going to use cake potato Say it. First things first, let's open our Haggadah. We have, let's open it, let's keep it to the side. Open to page, page number 19. We're going to introduce the steps of the Seder. This one we're all going to sing together. Everyone sees page number 19. You can all open up. You can use your fingers like this, what I'm doing. Go. Kadesh First step of the Seder on page number 20. Page number 20. Okay. So, out of four cups, out of four cups, you uh, drink one cup of wine. Every every single Shabbat, one person makes Kiddush for everybody. But during the Seder, everyone makes Kiddush together. So we're going to read this all together. Which page Okay, ready? Set on page 20, the line starts Savri Moran. Does everyone see it? Yep. Savri Moran, Baruch Hatzah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Boreh Let's continue with the bracha. Baruch Hatzah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alohim Asher Barakam Mikolam Veroma Man Mikolashat Bekidishan Let's sing together. Now we make a shachiyano because it's, we're introducing the holiday. Baruch Remember to drink and lean to the left. Which one's left? That one. Bro, did. The whole thing. Okay. Page, page 23. Let's go. Alan. Okay, so we wash our hands just like for bread, except there's no blessing set. You want to show it to us? Yup. One person so, will wash. Just like this. Three on one side, three on the other. 
Are we dipping a vegetable inside so the salt water? Cold. Inside, why are we dipping a vegetable inside of salt water? The beginning of the seder. Anyone know? Raise your hand. So the children are asking. Very good. So the children will start asking questions. The whole point of tonight's seder is that children will ask questions about the story and why we need to be dipping. For Carpas, Jack, you want to introduce her? Go. Um, so we take a um, boiled potato and we dip it in salt water and we eat it. <laughs> into two pieces and we hide the bigger one for the afikom. Three matzahs. Mm -hmm. They're gonna break the middle one just like this. Very good. Mm -hmm. Hide it for the afikom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eat the potato more. Jack, I just wanted exactly yeah. what you did. Nobody look. <laughs> Everybody put your head down. Put your head down. There's Nobody look. Head down. Put your head down. There's gonna be one cheater that I'll Head down, Josh. Okay, head down. Three, Alan, you're looking. Two. No, Nate. I'm looking through the mirror. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Come on, boys. It doesn't count if you're uh, looking. I think I know where it is. Mm. Can we open up? Okay, heads up, Ralph, you want to introduce? You want to introduce? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you guys didn't knows. see nothing. Okay, Maggie, so it's time to tell the story. It's the biggest part in the center. So these are the uh, songs and stories. Thank you. We're now going to tell over the story. We're going to begin by introducing, we say anyone on page 25. This is the bread of suffering that our ancestors ate in the land of Egypt. Let all those that are hungry, we're hungry, come and eat with us. Let all those that need to come and join us for the Pesach Seder. We're supposed to fill up the second cup, right? We're not going to actually fill up. We're supposed to fill up the second cup. And now we're going to do the Manishtan. The reason why, the reason why we're going to do the Manishtan right now is because Manishtan is the four questions that introduce the questions of why is this night different? What's going on here? Why is this all... Why do we have all these funny foods? And then we can leave into the answer. Page 28. What is the answer to the four questions? Now we ask four questions. What's the answer? The answer is Avadim Hadinu. Avadim Hadinu. We were slaves. We were slaves. 
Sons. There's the wise son. There's the uh, not so wise son. wicked son. <laughs> there's the simple, simple son. And there and is the Russia. Russia. The, the one that doesn't know how to have And the fifth son. We're gonna get to the fifth son. So the five sons. So the four sons. They're in our high God that represents the four times when Hashem tells us the special mitzvah of telling over the story of leaving Egypt. Shem tells us in four different tones, because there's four different personalities, four different types of Jews that need to be addressed. There's the wise one asking wise questions. He asks, what's the point of, how does all these things connect me to Hashem? It's a wise question. The wicked one says, why are you guys doing this? I don't do this stuff, but why do you guys do this? The simple one says, what's going on here? Explain to me this. And the, one that, the one that doesn't ask says, Nothing, nothing, nothing. He doesn't said, you have to introduce the Seder to him. You're supposed to speak to them. Each one you're supposed to tell them in their own way. Relate to them in their own different way. Okay? Now we're going to jump to page 34. We're going to do the Hisha Amda. Why we do the Hisha Amda? Which means Hashem saved us throughout all the time in Gauls, all the time in exile, throughout so many different nations stood up and tried to destroy us, but Hashem kept his promise. He's always going to keep the Jewish people alive. And we're still here to tell the story. Just hold the cup up. We don't drink. Which page? 34. Page 34. 3, 2, 1. Be he Down, and we are going to go to all the way to the ten plague. Dam, vaish, the simrash asha. Okay, at the top, so that's one, two, three. Dam, vaish, the simrash asha. Ready? Remember, just a drop, drop, drop at each thing. You guys ready? Set. In here, I thought it was three, two. At the top, you see the words dam, vaish, the simrash asha. We're going to say that. Oh, yeah. You guys see this big ball? Then we're going to spill this into the ball at the end. Okay? Ready? Set. Dam, 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 and on Moshe Rabbeinu's stuff, the stuff that he used, all the plagues, it said the following, it said an acronym, and we have to do for this acronym too, and that is Datsach Adash Ba'achav. Okay, for a first macaroon, who can tell me by raise of hands, why do we pour out each thing? Please explain to us why do we pour out each time when we say this every way? One second. Wine is precious to us. Wine is precious to us. Um, and to show that we're not uh, we're not celebrating the demise of the Egyptians, we're giving um, a little bit for each time uh, we destroyed them, sort of. Um, you Beautiful. Know, show well done. Country. Exactly. We don't celebrate the downfall. We don't celebrate too much the downfall of our enemies. <laughs> Okay, 
on the bottom of page 48. Rabbi Gamaliel says, if you don't say these three words, you did not complete the Seder. What are those three words? Very good. So we're going to say this loud and proud together. Pesah. Matzah. Matzah. Umaro. Raise your hand for some macaroons. Pesach, why do you mention Pesach? What does Pesach teach us? Yeah. When Hashem did the plague of the death of the plague, plague of the death of the firstborn, he passed over the Jews house. Very good. And say Pesach literally means skipping, passing over. Good job. So we we have to mention Pesach. Matzah. What is why do we have to mention matzah? Ari right, go. Uh, matzah is to remind us that um going out of Egypt the bread um Exactly. Very good job. Oh. Good time. Because when Fari said leave Egypt, the Jews left straight away. Maror. Why did he say maror? Daniel, go. Come on, so easy. The bitter tears of the Jews. Don't worry, there'll be more opportunities. Baror. Adonai <laughs> Al Yisrael together. Let's drink leaning to the left. Okay. Page 54. Daniel, please. Why is it so bitter? Uh, we wash our hands again, like with like we do with bread. But this time we say bro. Yeah, this time we're gonna make it. You gonna wash it for us? Good job. You want to introduce us to Might See Matzah? Wait, the bracha. The bracha. We finally eat the matzah. The bracha can be found in the Haggadah. Okay, now, how do you eat matzah prep? So obviously, we take the two matzahs here. And we make a bracha baruch ata, the bottom and the top, we hold them together and we say baruch ata ado elo melech haolam hamotzi lecha min haaretz. We break the top one, the kohen, and we eat from the kohen. But we're not going to eat matzah because we have a custom not to eat matzah right before pasta. But instead, we have these kosher for Passover crackers. Now, the way it's going to work is, in order to do the mitzvah, you need to have a kezayin. A kezayin of matzah means an olive size. It's basically enough to fill your entire hand. Okay? And the actual seder, if you want to know how much do you have to eat, you can also do this. <laughs> 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 Maybe if I did that, I'd fill up the whole plate. <laughs> like this? What about you like this? No, Jack, I'm take over my knees. Yeah, exactly like so. Jack, look at us. You said yours got a little Mommy fit one pack You don't have to actually balance it. It's the idea. Think about it. Just the idea. Just that five or six of these. Okay. We're gonna make a rock on, on the Achilat Matzah. Baruch, uh, everyone hold these up. Are we supposed to eat it off our hands? Asher Kiddishano Bermitzvota Metzivano Al Achilat Matzah. Now let's eat it leaning to the left. Oh, yummy. You know, Alan, the left is this way. Mauro, Ari, take it away. We take the lettuce. He put some, um, he put some arrow on it. Which is horse radish. And then we dip it into a process. Very good. Okay, you guys ready? Baruch
Shana Ben, it's Vasha Vizzi. Al Achila Maror. We eat it, we don't lean to the left. Because it's Maror, it's bitter. This is not a sign of freedom. <coughs> Especially when Ari eats it. Ari is crying. No, you know what? You don't know what you're doing. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm going for it. This is my birthday. It's a mirage. I'm going to eat it. Do it. I'm just taking a bite from this. I'm going to eat it. I didn't eat it. You have to. No, what? Bring it again. Stop. Don't say cheers. That means I don't know how people eat my raw with joy. Nobody eats Maro with joy. Yes, of course they do. My dad does. He eats he puts my in his sandwiches. Okay. Jake, please introduce the next step to Seder, the sandwich. Right. 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 is a combination of the last two steps, mochi matzah and mara. You put the matzah as the bread of the sandwich, and you put the lettuce and mara inside, dip in the and eat it. Good job. Do we lean? No. Yes. Yes. So now we lean. The reason why is because the bed, in the times of the base of Mikdash, they would have this and the lamb that they would sacrifice inside, so they would have all the mitzvahs of the seder together. Okay, everyone can eat it. I put maro in it. Uh, you're supposed to. Oh, you are. This is way better than maro. Okay, boys, shulchan aruch, which means now you can eat uh, um, the the, the cakes and stuff. So let's give out cakes. Come and we'll find the egg. Come since everyone knows where it is. What are we having the egg? Oh, egg now, egg now, egg now. Egg the cook. We and eat egg. this egg at the beginning Lucky. of the meal. Oh, 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 we hold the third cup of uh, grape juice in our hand while we recite the after blessing. Yeah. Three, two, one. We're just gonna do the first thing of the benching. Ready, set. Is everyone looking on page? Sorry, on page sixty at the bottom. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Hazan Et Haolam. Okay, now we're gonna drink at the end. We're gonna make one more gorp yagafen. Ready? Set. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Borei Perim Hadam. Death lean to the left. Death lean to the left. Everybody lean while you drink. Okay, this is our third cup. So now we're gonna top up. We're not actually gonna go around top up, but we think we're topping up for our third cup, for our fourth cup of wine. Now we're gonna introduce. Okay, what do we do? We go by the door. Take a. A cup of wine or the juice and take a candle and invite Eliyahu to the center. We're gonna take a candle to the door. You go to the door, you're gonna open it, we're all gonna sing Eliyahu now. Are you guys ready? And then we watch, if we watch this cup right here, it's gonna go down. Three, two, one, let's sing. Eliyahu. Eliyahu! Eliyahu! Is that you? Yes, it's Eliyahu. It's Eliyahu and Eliyahu! 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 E
And we are hoping that next year we will be in Jerusalem. Very good. We Lashana Haba Yerushalayim. Lashana Haba Yerushalayim. Let's stand to it. Lashana Haba Yerushalayim. Lashana Haba Yerushalayim. Lashana Haba Yeah.